As promised, this is a little bit longer video to the fork steer tube. Again, want to commend Durian Rider for coming out with a great video on inspecting the fork. So a little more detail. Everybody knows what one of these are. I think Specialized does a pretty good job at this because these appear to be put in a ceramic tumbler. When they're done, done machining, you can see the nice smooth edges on this. Most stems are machined, machined here, here, and through. And what happens is all of these machined edges, they never clean up and they're razor sharp. In fact, you can, I've cut my finger a number of times on these. I always take my stems and take about 220 or 320 grit sandpaper and sand all, take this all apart, sand it here, sand it on the inside. All these edges are sharp along in here, along in this side, the inside of the stem. You can see the uh, hole in here. All this is uh, razor sharp on most stems, sand all of the internal parts. But what happens is you can see the witness mark. This is what he was trying to show you in his video. This witness mark here is from this on the inside of the stem right in there. You can see that that hole. So this is put in here like this. So the witness mark is on the inside. You a lot of these stems, this stem was actually the steer tube was actually off of or an Orbea. And they clamped this too tight. And you can see the results. There's a crack right here. So this is the type of stuff you need to look for when you're buying a used bike. Make sure, because now you're talking about four, five, six hundred dollars for a new um, fork. So like I said before, the last thing you want to have happen on a ride is going down a hill about 50 miles an hour. And, you know, the handlebars are, are on the front part here. And you hit a bump and this part cracks off and now you get your handlebars in your hands with no steering at 50 miles an hour down a hill. It's not going to end well. So look at the fork steer tube. Uh, as Durian Rider shows you, it's only, it's less than five minutes to take the uh, front of the bike apart and put it back together and do an inspection. You can definitely see if there are cracks in the um, steer tube. This would be the top. Let's talk about the quality of the steer tubes. I have another couple of videos that talk about uh, me rebuilding a bike. Uh, I have a steer tube, like I said, off. I've cut it here. Uh, this is the, the fork crown. Comes through, comes down here. And um, this is Orbea, and this is a giant TCR, uh, TCR Advanced. So you can see one of the things you can notice is... Um, Again, this is where this is what this is the part most people don't see. This is where the steer, this is where the fork crown comes out. The front wheel is down in here. If you look at the Orbea, there's about three millimeters of wall thickness of carbon. That's it. That's that's the whole thing holding on the bottom of the fork to the steer tube. If you look at the giant TCR, six millimeters of carbon. So that's how they get some of these bikes so light. Hey, you put less carbon in. Well, less carbon, not only is a giant going to last longer and, in my opinion, much safer of a bike, you got twice as much wall thickness of carbon on the steer tube, but you also have a metal insert, which is going to also extends into the fork crown, giving you extra security holding the fork together. So I also commend Giant for building a higher quality than they really need to for your safety on the fork uh, steer tube as well. So with that, I'll end this video and see you in the next one.